Welcome to the Grant Wood Area Education Agency Brain Injury Resource Team screencast discussing communication deficits following brain injury. This screencast is part one of two parts on this topic. Part one will discuss the different areas of communication and their deficits, plus the deficit of word finding and strategies to support word finding deficits. Let's begin. Communication involves both expressive and receptive language. Expressive language refers to verbal language and receptive language refers to comprehension and the understanding of language. Language structures are found mostly in the temporal lobe of the brain. Pragmatics refers to social language and includes nonverbal behaviors such as interpreting facial expressions or body cues. Language is communicated by speaking and writing. Post-brain injury deficits are typically language related, but damage could also include other communication processes such as articulation and voice quality. Deficits of communication. Damage based to language, rather language based areas of the brain can result in many types of language disorders called aphasia. There are different classifications of aphasia based on the location of damage in the brain and the impairments that the student might be experiencing. A student may have impairments in either receptive or expressive language or may have deficits in both areas concurrently. The type of communication deficits a student might experience after an injury will depend on the location and the severity of the injury. As swelling decreases and recovery begins, the type of language deficits and severity could change. A speech language pathologist is an important member of the school team as the SLP carries knowledge and expertise in communication, including students with TBI. Language deficit of word finding. Now we'll take a look at the specific language deficits commonly seen post brain injury and discuss their symptoms and strategies to support while they are at school. The first language deficit is word finding. Word finding is the ability to retrieve and produce or communicate a word or phrase during conversational speech or speaking as well as during written language or writing. A word finding deficit following brain injury is a deficit of the expressive language. Word finding deficits can manifest as inaccurate use of vocabulary, use of fillers or placeholders in conversation, and use of nondescriptive words. Students may demonstrate circulocution or talking about or around the word they want to use rather than using the specific word because they cannot recall or retrieve the exact word they are wanting to use. Not being able to communicate what you want to, when you want to, and to do so efficiently can be frustrating for students with word finding deficits. These students may have a heightened frustration during speaking or writing tasks and may appear withdrawn in social situations. Some strategies to combat word finding may include providing vocabulary lists with definitions and reviewing these words and definitions with the students individually before the lesson or activity and particularly during new learning. Strengthening a student's ability to categorize vocabulary through categorical tasks and practicing describing items may be helpful. The SLP is specially trained in these areas of strategies and accommodations and would be helpful would be a helpful resource for vocabulary strategies. Students with receptive language deficits would benefit from additional time on tasks as well as shortened writing tasks. It may be beneficial to take breaks during longer tasks. Self-advocacy is very important for students after brain injury. Creating awareness of their own deficits might be challenging and difficult, but it is important for their recovery and return to the classroom. When they are aware of things that are challenging or could pose a potential challenge, they can ask for help, accommodations, or support from staff ahead of time, and hopefully before tasks become frustrating. Staff can support the student's path to self-advocacy by discussing the challenges they see the student encountering and then modeling and practicing phrases that with the student that will alert a communication partner for the need for additional support. Using phrases like, I'm having trouble finding my words, could I have a moment please, might be helpful for a student so they can have more time to formulate their thoughts. Please continue with the next uh, screencast
titled Cognitive Deficits Following Brain Injury for Communication, Part 2, for more relevant information related to this topic.